Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today. We have a lot of excitement going on. And it's currently about 8.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. And today we actually have a really exciting day ahead. I have my big ultrasound today that I've been waiting for for a really long time. And it's the anatomy scan. So if you know, you know. It's definitely exciting and I really wanna bring you guys along with me today. So stay tuned. <laughs> What's he doing? Monkey, we see you. Ronan, sit up. You have 10 more minutes left, okay? Love you. You doing good? Not yet, baby. Not yet. Ronan, focus, okay? You want me to stay right here until school's over? Why are you so cute? Okay, so we're just gonna jump into this makeup because of course this is makeup and motherhood and it wouldn't be makeup and motherhood without a little makeup and a little motherhood cheese man, right? Hello, we are back at my vanity. I made myself a little cup of joe because you guys, the migraines are trying it, but I have found and realized that a little bit of coffee goes a long way in pregnancy and speaking of pregnancy i have my notebook here with my notes because the way this pregnancy brain is set up whoo out of breath excuse me okay so we're gonna start the makeup i'm not really doing anything crazy today um you guys know i love to skin prep i'm wondering if i should just like pull my hair back a little um i'm actually right now i'm watching hocus pocus <laughs> while i get ready for my appointment i don't know why but this movie is like the quintessential halloween movie to get us in the mood right i feel like everybody especially for someone like me <laughs> i feel like we always watch this movie to get ourselves in the mood and the spirit right okay guys i'm actually skin prepping with my very own botanic beauty oil moon child okay so i am 21 weeks today 21 weeks can you guys believe that i don't know if like other pregnant women go through this but it's starting to feel like wow is this really happening like i look pregnant i feel pregnant but it's like it's hard to process it all like i honestly a part of me still feels like it's not real like is this really happening the way this baby is moving and kicking right now like it seems like as soon as i hit 18 19 weeks the kicks and the moves and the movement started to pick up but baby like starting last night like i started to see my belly popping up like i was reading something and through my peripheral vision i could see like my clothes was like boop boop like it was like popping up and i was like oh my god and i was so excited and she's growing and i feel like she's getting mass growing mass she's getting a little dense a little heavier her kicks have like some bounce behind them you know what i mean you guys my pregnancy dreams like i know every pregnant woman goes through this but you really have to go through it to understand like the intensity of it the severity of it like it is so wild like full-on movies we have a beginning a middle an end we even have interludes and intermissions because when I have to get up and go to the bathroom, <laughs> when I have to get up and go to the bathroom in the morning, like it's almost like, okay, the dream stops. But then as soon as I get right back in bed, the dream comes again. It picks up right where it left off. It is the strangest thing. And these dreams are wild, dude. Like wild, wild, wild. I don't know. And they're so like random, like the most random things. Pregnancy dreams are crazy. Um, aside from pregnancy dreams, let me tune into my notes here. My belly is huge. I'm at the stage right now where people who haven't seen me in a while see me and they're like, oh my God, are you sure you're having only one? And I'm like, yes. Um, can we please normalize women carrying big? Like, especially if it's your second, third baby. Like I've heard that women who have already had babies, um, just carry bigger. Like they start to show quicker. Um, 
Like, baby, if you didn't know me, you would look at me and think I was nine months pregnant. Like, I'm looking large and in charge right now. But you know what? I also feel really cute. Like, I don't feel ugly. Like, I feel like I'm really cute. I feel like I carry it well. Aside from, like, me being tired and my body feeling like the growing pains of it all. I'm remaining really positive about my body and just reminding myself that, you know, like I'm growing a human, dude. Like I'm growing a whole human. As crazy as that sounds. And to me, it's still to this day is like, doesn't feel real. Like it doesn't feel like it's really happening. Another thing that I want to talk about is Braxton Hicks. And I don't know why I didn't put this together before, but I've been feeling these like uterus contractions um, since like my first trimester and I had no idea that they were just like baby Braxton Hicks and they've just gotten progressively more intense and it really just feels like a burst of energy you know it feels like a burst of energy that's it, it like kind of it like comes in a wave and then retracts and then comes back and then retracts. and I'm like oh my god like that's what it is I'm having Braxton Hicks contractions. And I remember when I was pregnant the first time, I was getting Braxton Hicks a lot as well. Like, it's like a feeling that comes up to my chest and then it descends. And it's like all this energy I feel, it's crazy. Um, another thing I wanna talk about, you guys, the heartburn. Oh my God, the heartburn is starting to kick up. I thought I was in the clear, I thought I was good. And a couple weeks ago, I started to feel the heartburn and I'm like, oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> as soon as I started to feel the heartburn, I was like, we're not doing this. I'm not doing this. Like I kicked up my celery juice. I kicked up um, my chlorophyll water. I can't stand heartburn and it hits me at night. And I realized that sleeping on my left side actually really tones, tones it down. Um, so for my pregnant people out there, people who just had really bad acid reflux, um, aside from drinking celery juice, which I've been doing, um, to help like maintain it, I highly recommend just like, if you get like these heartburn attacks in the middle of the night that wake you up, sleep on your left side because something about sleeping on our left side just prevents like all the acid from coming up. I'm not really watching what I eat. Like at this point. I'm not eating like anything crazy, but I am like enjoying what I eat, if that makes sense. Like I'm not being hard on myself. Like if I want a cheeseburger, I'm gonna get a cheeseburger. If I want a bowl of cereal, I'm gonna eat that bowl of cereal, which by the way, um, but, uh, cereal is like one of my biggest cravings right now. <laughs> and I'm not talking like the healthy cereal. I'm talking like the cereal from our childhood, right? Like the other day I found myself buying a box of pops okay remember pops those are so fire like i haven't eaten those in years but baby oh i almost said her name oh my god which also her name my baby's name she's been named from day one like since we knew we were having a girl since before we confirmed that we were having a girl we knew what her name was going to be and uh i'm seeing her name everywhere it's not a name that i've ever met anybody have like a person per se but it is a word if that makes sense and I see it everywhere I see it on commercials I see it pop up on Instagram on the little little the little ads that pop up I see my friends texting me stuff like girl why did I just see her name on a license plate on the car in front of me and I'm like oh my god um, her name is everywhere like I can't handle it and I'm just like wow like nothing but confirmation right that she is real she's coming she's making her presence known she's letting us know who she is <laughs> and that she is here baby right now I just basically went over my concealer with um, some pressed powder and I like to do that just to kind of set everything in place I'm going in with my tried and true Scott Barnes palette <laughs> um, this palette is really good just for like warming up the face and giving yourself some definition sculpting and contouring essentially I'm starting to get like butterflies in my stomach every time I think about it like wow I'm really gonna have a girl like I'm having a baby girl like what does that mean like my husband my husband has been so sweet like he rubs my belly any chance he gets he's been such a sweetheart he's such a manly man and it's so funny like 
seeing him turn soft like <laughs> what a baby girl won't do to her daddy okay like it is so fun and so cute just to see like how his energy has shifted you know since we found out we were having a girl like him and my son like they wrestle they watch you know Mortal Kombat action figures you know they play fight they're such boy boys right and it's so funny to think about my husband having a daughter I'm just going in with a little bit of contour in my eyelid I'm not doing eyeshadow today I'm just gonna you know sort of connect everything so that we have some seamlessness happening here and I'm just sort of going over my crease with the shade chiseled from the Scott Barnes sculpting contour palette and then bringing it down the nose we got to look cute and I have found that you know I'm I was re-inspired to like get back into makeup like once the second trimester hit I was like I'm ready I'm ready to bust my brushes out again I'm ready to feel cute again you know okay so this is the final look you guys what do we think something really natural nothing crazy very minimal fresh and dewy this is definitely my go-to look these days I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair yet um, I love how I'm acting like it's the prom when I'm going to a hospital and I'm gonna have a mask on the whole time anyway but <laughs> baby it's not about how we look it's about how we feel and right now I just feel cute I feel like I'm representing baby girl well you know what I'm saying <laughs> I got my somebody's mama t-shirt on right now. Shout out to Felicia Latour. Where we're at, I'm feeling cute, feeling fluffy and cuddly and round and beautiful. <laughs> And it's so funny because this shirt particularly used to fit me so big like when I first got it and it was like a large loose fitting shirt and it's like every time I wear it now it's like tighter and tighter <laughs> um, but I love it though I feel beautiful and yeah 21 weeks baby girl there she is and right now this is the makeup up close we are ready to head up Okay guys, I just dropped my son off at his grandmother's and I am now headed out to Redlands. It's about a 40 minute drive from where I live. And um, something that I actually forgot to mention earlier when I was doing my makeup, I don't remember this being a symptom during my first pregnancy, but oh my God, you guys, this symptom is by far the most annoying symptom that I've had. And it's sneezing. You guys, I sneeze so much. Like, I sneeze at least 10 to 20 times a day. So annoying. Like, just the most annoying pregnancy symptom ever. I, I have sneezed more during this pregnancy than I have in my entire life. And I'm not even exaggerating. I sneeze so much. It's so annoying. I'm constantly, like, waking up with these, like, dry boogers, you guys. Sorry if that's TMI. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Guys, I legit saw a dead rat in the parking lot just now and I almost stepped on it, you guys. <laughs> I'm currently struggling because for this particular appointment, I'm supposed to drink 24 ounces of water before the ultrasound and my bladder feels like I have 24 ounces of liquid in it right now <laughs> and I really have to pee and I don't think I'm gonna be able to pee until after you guys <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi.
Um, I'm getting an uh, ultrasound. The, the, um, what is it? The genetic scan in radiology. Uh -huh. What is your medical record number? Um, it is... Janine? Janine, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I said Janine, but this oh, thing was fine. in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, look, this was breathing so much. You did better than most people do, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My name gets butchered all the time. <laughs> Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. If I can see your arm, please. Thank you. And this is just to let them know that we verified and checked you in, okay? Okay. Sorry for tugging on you. Oh, you're fine. Thank you. you don't need my card. No, honey. Okay. Oh. Thank you. And do I go? Where do I go? You're gonna be sitting on this first area, honey. She's gonna come from the first row as soon as she's ready. Okay. Thank, thank you. Have a good one. You too. Thanks, honey. All right. So all set. Third floor area one. Oh. Third floor area one. Okay. There we go. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I have to pee really bad, but okay, I'm trying good. to hold it because okay. I was told I had to drink a certain yes. amount of water yes. and, you know. <laughs> okay, so I just finished the ultrasound. It was sort of a long process. Um, I almost took a nap, but I wasn't able to record anything while it was happening. But I got some good photos that I'll be sharing with you guys. I got emotional during the ultrasound a few times because it just feels so surreal still. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, guys, I wasn't really able to talk loud inside the ultrasound room, but long story short, um, it was like a 30 to 40 minute process. It was pretty long and I felt the, the baby moving like the whole time. Like she was moving so much. She was pushing, kicking. I felt it all. And even the ultrasound technician was like, yeah, your baby is really moving and I can see it. First half of the ultrasound was just the technician just getting really good shots of the organs, the spine, the brain, the heart, you know, the skeletal um, structure, all the organs, right? That was an intricate process. So I didn't get to see all of that. The second half of the ultrasound, she was able to finally turn the screen and show me the baby. And oh my God, the baby was moving the whole, like she was like swimming in there. She was kicking, moving, punching, squirming. Like it was the sweetest thing, you guys. And I just can't believe this is happening. Like it still feels so surreal to me. Like I still can't believe it. Look at these pictures. Like look at her arm right there by her face, right? Like she is getting so big look at that head i don't know if you can see that's her little profile view you can see her spine really clearly um you see her legs and her little booty <laughs> look at that that is so wild to me look at her legs look at those chunky thighs <laughs> I'm just so full of love right now. I'm actually really hungry. I'm gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna go pick up my son and head back home. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are enjoying makeup and motherhood as much as I am enjoying creating it. I'm just so happy that I'm inspired enough to just like, you know, film and capture these moments and track the journey. I just can't wait to one day look back on all of this footage and relive the moments and the memories. It truly is a special time in my life right now. And I'm just so happy that I can share it with you guys. So on that note, you guys, I'm gonna close this video out. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, let me know if you're enjoying the series. I'm looking forward to the second half of this pregnancy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to join the family. Love you guys. Bye.